Hi guys, Odyssey Gaming here and welcome back to another 20k squad builder where this will be a three league hybrid and this team's more for the um, the new FIFA players, the people that might have got it for Christmas and are wanting a really good ultimate team that's you know going to win you games just for the start, you know, when you haven't got loads of coins. Right, so in goal we do have the German goalkeeper Leno. So Leno is a, an extremely good goalkeeper. He could be considered one of the OP goalkeepers in the game because he will basically save you your game sometimes. He's got very good stats, all well-rounded. All of his stats above 80, apart from speed, which obviously is 46, which is all right for a goalkeeper. He is fairly fast off his line and will be able to come and collect the ball and clear the ball if uh, a running striker is trying to get the through ball from the opposition. Um, his reflexes are incredible. He will save you some points and uh, goals in one-on-one -on -one situations, which is always good in a goalkeeper. He's got brilliant positioning, hardly lets in long shots, and he overall is just a very, very good goalkeeper. His distribution as well is very good. He's got a good long throw. Um, I'm not sure if he's got the long throw trait or not, but he has got a long throw. He's also got the four-star weak fit, which is very good. He can clear it and pass it with both feet, and overall, he's a very good goalkeeper. So moving on to the defence, we do have the two fullbacks of Wendell and Basingwa, and then the centre-back partnership of Toprak and Kaya. To start with, Wendell and Basingwa both played really well in this team. They always seem to be in the right position at the right time, as you'll see from this first clip. They seem to get loads of blocked shots, always good at tackling, always in defence when you needed them. And going forward, they were quite good as well, especially Wendell on that left-hand side, especially seeing as though we were using the 4-2-3-1 formation. So there's not wingers as such. I mean, the cams do flow out onto the wing, but the two fullbacks have to act as wingers a lot of the time. And yeah, Wendell was very good at getting the crosses in, but Basingwa was just something else. He was always forward, always in defence. He was always just wherever, whenever you needed somebody on that right-hand side, he'd be there for you to pass to, or he'd be there for you to use. And it was just really good using these two fullbacks. Now, if you know me, you'll know that I hate using non-rares, and this is just, I don't know why, it's just something that I don't like doing. I, there's no reason I should hate them, it's just, I don't know. But to be fair, the... Wendell was really good and Kaya was incredible, but Toprak has to be the standout player in this defence. He was always there for the tackles, the interceptions. He rarely gave away a foul. He's very strong as well, as was Kaya. But yeah, Toprak was just incredible. He was good in the air, won every header. I don't think I scored a header with these guys from my defensive from corners or anything like that, but it wasn't an issue because the defence is there to, you know, stop the goals. And with the attacking players and even the central defensive mids that we had, we didn't really need our defenders to be scoring from corners. It would have been nice, but it wasn't necessary. And yeah, it was just really fun to use this back line. They're always, you know, in their right positions. And they're very strong and just, yeah, really good to use. Right, so in the central defensive midfielder spots, we do have Ramirez and out in top. So the CDM partnership was brilliant. Ramirez has high high work rates and Alton Top has medium high work rates. So I thought that Ramirez would push up and Alton Top would sort of stay back a tiny bit and that is exactly what happened. Ramirez was helping out with the attack whilst Alton Top, although he was going forward, he was still staying back a bit. So it worked very well together. Alton Top was more of the breaking up of, of the opposition play and uh, Ramirez more helping in the attack. Now, Alton Top was a surprise one in the CDM. He was mainly there for chemistry, but once you've used him, you'll find out he is an absolutely incredible player. His stats don't suggest what he does. He's got low 70s and 67 pace, but honestly, he is an absolute god. He scores a, a few crackers uh, from outside the box. He has for me and Harry, and he he's quite good at defending as well breaking up the play and Ramirez is sort of the same they're sort of similar except for Ramirez obviously he's got a lot higher stats but he, he's also a lot more pacey and he will push up a lot more but they do complement each other very well and work together extremely well as a CDM partnership. So in the three camp spots we do have Oscar and Schneider who you will all know and then this guy whose name is just so hard to pronounce I'm just going to call him from his first name which is Atif look this is what his name is Chehen, look, it's like, what? Atif Chehechow. Chehechow? Chehechow. Anyway, that's the three camps. And they do work incredibly well together. I mean, Oscar and Schneider have both got incredibly good passing and incredibly good shooting, as you will see from some of the clips. In one of the clips, Oscar has scored me, well, did score me a really good long shot, which I've never scored one like it before. It's like from a weird angle, the edge of the box, like, but to the side. Anyway, it's really good. And yeah, this guy who's got an unpronounceable name, so I'm just calling him Atif, which is his first name. 
he was really good. I mean, I looked at him and we needed a camp from the Turkish league to make this whole side work. And so, you know, we just put this guy in and he was really good. I mean, he had 87 pace, so he's going to be fast, which is good to have on that right side. He was really good at crossing and he scored some freak goals. Like this guy right here, this header, I mean, what is that? I've never seen a player beat a goalkeeper when he's rushing out and headed over him. But yeah, it was a really good goal and he just continued to score really good goals for me. There's another one there. And yeah, he's a big surprise in this team. He's one of the standout players again. And yeah, this well, these three cams are just really good to use because of their technical ability. So up front, we do have the striker Baruch Yilmaz. So Yilmaz is probably one of the best strikers to go up top in this formation. He's fast, he's strong, he just does everything. He's got 86 pace and 80 physical, which is very good in this formation because he is going to be up there as your main man and you do need him to be fast and strong to hold off the defenders which is exactly what he does he's six foot two as well so he's he's able to take the ball into him and turn the defenders with ease he's a, he's able to make runs due to his pace and his strength he's able to make runs uh hold off the defenders and get in good goal scoring opportunities his shooting is brilliant um his power shots just rifle into the net most of the time his finesse shots they're all right. They're not the greatest. They're all right. But definitely power shot of him because he will basically score a lot of them. He's also got high medium work rate. So he is going to be up there most of the time ready to do the counter attack or ready to receive the ball into him. And he was also six foot two, as I mentioned. So from corners and from crosses, he should be a threat in the air. But overall, Yilmaz is one of the best strikers in this formation and works really well with the rest of the team. So this squad will end up costing you around 20k on the Xbox and the PlayStation market. And as always, we do have the options that you can have if you don't like anybody in the team. So we do have, obviously, a different goalkeeper if you don't want Leno. We have different right back, a different centre mid. Obviously, Anand can also play Cam, CDM. We've got another Cam there. We've got Van Persie who works because he's Netherlands. So, yeah. Che Chow if you don't want Pyre, but you will have to use Maslera as will you have to use Maslera if you use Silver and Maxwell. Actually, no, you won't, but you can get Sirigu, who's not on the bench, but just so you know. Then, of course, you can get Santana, who you don't need to do anything with. You will need a different goalkeeper, Dante as well, and then Tapal if you don't want Altinta. So that is it for this 20k squad builder. Make sure to use it and try it out. It is a very good squad builder. And if you have used it, make sure to let us know what you think of it in the comments below. But apart from that, that's it. Thank you for watching and have a brilliant day.